This is a fascinating New York Times article written by Alice Ross Thorne on May 27, 2007. It's titled, The Director Tim Bakmamatov Turns Film Subtitling into an Art, and begins with Ross Thorne gushing over the English, sub the English captions in a new Russian horror film at the time called Daywatch. So in Russia, she says, it's a huge hit, somewhere in cult classic territory. But it's the international version that's been the reason for all this attention. Its subtitles are, and I quote, some of the cleverest and most uh, ingenious subtitles to grace the cinema screen. What she means is that compared to the illegible uh, subtitles slash captions that drift on and off screen, often at the wrong moments, lurking so low that the bottoms of the letters are often chopped off, and that overall ruin the harmony of a beautiful scene, Daywatch tries to do something different. That is really important, because it seems every other movie art has a proud heritage except subtitling. So Ross Thorne tells us that technology has made it much easier to digitally produce uh, subtitles. In the past, film reels had to be coated in wax and bathed in bleach. But even now that it's easier, filmmakers are hesitant to take advantage. The, fil the public still believes captions and subtitles are only used for function, not art. Something added for function is often given the bare minimum amount of effort. It is often that if someone compliments a movie's subtitles, Ross Lauren says, which would be very surprising, it's because they haven't screwed up the dialogue. So, so what Bagmamatov, the director, has done is make his subtitles another character in the film, another way to tell the story. So the result is a text that, for example, glows red when a character is angry, uh, or text that disintegrates into a puff of smoke after an explosion. So this article makes a good counterpoint to all this eye candy, that a subtitle should never be obtrusive if done right. Uh, the director of Daywatch, of course, disagrees, saying his are not the kind that obtrude. In fact, most of them are still standard typeface captions with sans serif lettering. But I'll let you be the judge. Um, here are a few screenshots from Nightwatch, the prequel to Daywatch, which is found on the Kairos website. So what's the deal with me showing you Nightwatch instead of Daywatch? They're basically doing the same thing uh, with captions. So there are a few. So, I mean, overall, this is a very interesting article, in my opinion. It's actual evidence, not theory. Uh, not having conversations, not having panels of you know filmmakers making a difference in the field. Um, again, the question is, do you feel these feel these captions are distracting and maybe overly sentimental, or could you see yourself possibly enjoying them?